Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a 2024 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull. If you've been watching some of our past videos over the past you know month or so, we've been going over some of the last 23s we've had in our lot and kind of talking about the 24s coming in. So today we're actually have a 24 sitting here. Um, some new features on these Logan Coach Bullseyes that are different from last year. Um, so we'll start off, we'll walk around the trailer, do our normal thing, show you some of the features you're going to be familiar with, and then again, some of the new things that are new this year. Up here at our tack room, again, swing out door, brush tray down low. It is a fully carpeted brush tray, same as all these other videos you've been watching over the past year. Fully removable marine grade carpet. It is a drainable brush tray, so again, you get any brushes or fly sprays, anything like that, freeze, break, leak. It will drain out the bottom and not get the rest of your stuff nasty. We do have a 50% sliding type window up high. Again, super handy. Usually if we're doing a trailer, we either want that window on the door or we want to do a roof vent in that front tack just to allow some of that air to circulate, kind of keep your stuff dry after a long, hard day of riding. The saddle rack here, again, the saddle racks themselves are going to look very similar to what you guys have seen on last year's model. Um, but this is one of the main big changes we did on these Logan coaches for the 24 models. The hinge. That these, it used to be that these would just slide in, there would be four posts, you could pick which four locations you wanted these mounted at. New for this year, um, Logan went to these adjustable saddle posts, so it's actually on a bar. So again, you're not limited to your four holes that you had in the past, you can actually adjust these to whichever height you want. It's simple screw knob on the back to tighten them off, and they're easily removable too. If you wanted to take one off, you can loosen one bolt, slide them off, slide them on, you can add more, and again, super handy to be able to easily adjust these as compared to last year's model. It's gonna run on that same gas piston as it used to. Once you kind of start pushing it in, that piston will pull it in for you. You get your big heavy saddles on here, it'll make it really easy for you to pull saddles in and out of this trailer with that piston. On our wall of this trailer, we do have, very similar to our last year's model, our swing out blanket bars. Again, you can angle those over the door, you can easily slide your blankets on from outside this trailer. And then again, you can fold that over, strap it against this wall, have all your blankets nice and neat pressed against that wall. Up high above that, again, nothing's changed here. We do have our full row of bridle hooks up high, full carpet behind. So again, you're gonna have plenty of hanging space in this trailer. That carpet behind there, it's really gonna help deaden that noise for your horses traveling. It's also gonna keep your bridles in great shape. And it's gonna keep your trailer from getting scratched up by your bits and bridles moving back and forth. Over here in our back corner, we do have you know, your breakaway battery system mounted down there on the floor, along with your matching wheel and tire. Um, spare to the wheels and tires on this trailer. So again, you get a flat, you get a blowout, you can swap wheels, swap tires, not be mismatched and everything will look nice. And I believe this is actually a new wheel design for 24. Um, it's an aluminum wheel with kind of some chrome accents wrapped around. It looks really, really clean. Lastly, kind of standard we're doing on all these bullseyes, we do have our corner water tank. Again, super handy to be able to take water with you guys from home. We do have a hose included, so you can run that hose right out the door, fill, fill water buckets, water your dog. Whatever you want to do, you're always going to have water with you, which is super handy. Coming down the side of this trailer, you will notice we have an LED spotlight, again, above our tie-out area. Something new for this year, we actually added an additional LED spotlight over our tack room. So before you used to only get your one spotlight on each side, now you're going to have one over your tack room individually. Again, giving you guys more light to be able to see what you're doing while you're traveling. Standard is three bus type windows, 50 splits, so you can slide those open, really get that airflow moving. Three horse bumper pull, we have three tie rings on each side of this trailer. It is a 610 wide trailer, so you are gonna get that full length running board down low. One of the major changes, probably I think the most beneficial change this year to the 2024 models, past year model bullseyes, they just had kind of an aluminum skin extrusion, very similar to the white sheets up top. It looked really nice, it was an off color. Um, so you had your still looked aluminum and then you had your painted sheets above, but they went ahead and did and they went to this full heavy duty metal extrusion down low versus just your sheet. So again, it really beefed up the sides of these trailers. If you have horses like the paw, rub or anything like that, before it would dent those sheets pretty easily where now this is super, super stout. It's the same extrusion they use on their stock combo. So it's really heavy duty. It's really flashy. And again, it's really adding to the value of these trailers. Down low, we are on our two 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. If you looked, again, that's a little bit better view of that new wheel design. And then again, something not so major as far as like a usability change, but more of a design change. They went with the new Logan Coach emblem up high on your top rail, that black and that red. Same thing, your back sticker is gonna have a new Logan Coach designed, um, built to last sticker right there on your rear doors.
Here on the back of this trailer, again, really similar to what you guys have been seeing on our previous year models. Nothing's really changed in our stock area. We are gonna still have our rubber mat over our wood floor. Again, everything is vortex coated. Anywhere you see black on your rear doors, wrapped around about five foot up on the inside, it's gonna be vortex coated as well. If you're wondering what that vortex coating is, it's basically a thin rhino lining. So what they go ahead and do is any exposed steel on this trailer, it is a galvanized steel trailer, so you don't have to worry about rust. They actually offer a lifetime corrosion warranty on their trailers. But by go ahead and vortex coating that, they're really adding to the longevity of this trailer. If you have a horse that kicks, paws, rubs on stuff, again, they're gonna be chipping away at that vortex coating and not at the metal themselves. And again, it's super easy to go in and patch that vortex coating compared to how hard it would be to you know, go in and replace sheets that have been damaged. Up in our stock area, again, padded partial dividers. This rear divider will be telescoping to allow it to clear these rear doors. So you can shut those rear doors if you just want to ride in a wide open trailer. Front divider, same divider, just not telescoping. So it is a partial type padded divider. We do have latches to hold them both over against the wall. So again, if you're hauling ATVs, UTVs, maybe moving out of a house into a new one, you can still use this trailer as a wide open trailer. And if you wanted to and not even have these on the wall, they're super easy. You can pull two pins, just take the biters out completely and just have a wide open trailer. Each one of our three stalls in these bullseyes is coming set up from the factory with um, D-rings so you can easily strap in corner feed bags and front stall, middle stall, and your rear star, no matter if it's a two horse, three horse, or four horse. We stock these bags. If you show up and want some feed bags, we can easily throw them on these trailers for you. Up high, again, standard, you're gonna have one roof vent for each stall in these bullseye trailers. They're a two-way roof vent, so you can situate them to either pull fresh air in or circulate some of that air out in this trailer to really maximize that airflow. Hip side, we do have three LED lights. Again, one for each stall. That's gonna be pretty standard. So if you get a four horse, you'll have four of them, one for each stall. Um, they work two ways. You'll have a switch on the back, so you can switch all these on operate them all with a switch or if you want to operate them individually maybe turn just one light on instead of three you can do that on the light itself and then up high above these back doors so again standard from last year we do have that same led spotlight giving you guys enough light to load and offload safely a couple of new little things we do have a new license plate um, light here it's going to stick out and protrude down a little bit so it's really going to shine that light more on your license plate instead of just gradually illuminating like a simple button light then we do have a new setup, kind of the same style. Um, it's still the same three brake lights, clearance lights up high. It's just a new housing for it. It looks a little cleaner with that black frame. Moving around to our head side, it's gonna be a pretty much mirror image of those 23s we've been videoing for a while now. You are gonna have your heavy duty drop windows. They're kind of a three position drop window. So you are gonna have a 50-50 slide window in them. You also have the ability to drop them run them with your jail bars up. They are a fly mass jail bar or screen jail bar. So again, you're not gonna have to worry about road debris getting into your horses, but you can really maximize your airflow that way. And then if you're checking on your horses or if you have those corner feed bags installed and you're feeding, you can easily drop those jail bars and feed, check on your horses from the outside of this trailer. We're gonna have the same three tie rings on this driver's side of this trailer. You will have your standard one LED spotlight. Again, if you're saddling, tying out, feeding on the outside of the trailer, you're gonna have enough light to see what you're doing. And then of course, your changed Logan Coach emblem up high on your top rail and your back door. So move to the front of this trailer. Really nothing has changed up here at our nose of the trailer from the 23 to 24 models, with the exception of they went from the black and white Logan Coach emblem to now it's kind of this blood orange um, and black Logan Coach emblem. It's really flashy, especially with those other black and orange emblems around this trailer. Down low, we do have Tread Bright covering our bottom nose profile on this trailer. Again, helping rock kicks, road debris, stuff like that. That Tread Bright is gonna hold up a lot better than your aluminum sheets will. Um, so again, just helping this trailer look clean after you guys have been using it for a while and kicking some rocks at it. Down low, we do have our three foot gooseneck coupler, again, fully vortex coated to help, you know, prevent rock chips and stuff like that, help really make this trailer look clean. We have our Pro Series 2000 pound uh, manual jack. We can throw an electric jack on here. We can throw hydraulic jacks on if you want a little more usability out of this trailer. Just our seven pin plug, our two and five sixteenths couplers, safety chains and breakaway cable. So again, pretty standard stuff. If you've been watching our, you know, 23 videos, 
Again, not a whole lot of changes, but the changes they've made. One, the trailers are looking a lot cleaner. They're a lot more usable, usable with that adjustable saddle rack. Um, and the main thing is those extrusions. This is a lot heavier duty built trailer than the 2023. And the great thing about it is they didn't up the price at all for you guys. So you can get a 24 with you know new features, you get the extrusions and your price hasn't gone up at all. So Logan's really stepping up their game as far as building quality trailers for you guys. They built really stout trailers in the past and they're just improving on that. So if you're interested in this 24 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull, the stock number for this unit is 5N231110. Again, it's one of our first 2024 bumper pulls we have in here. Stop by and check it out. If you're interested in this 24, maybe some other 24s we have coming in in a different layout as far as like if you want a two horse, if you want a gooseneck, or if you're maybe trying to snag one of those last 23s, I believe we still have a couple available. Feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.